Hello, here is a question number two. It says a bar of thickness D is made to move with a velocity V perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field of induction B. Top and bottom faces of the bar are parallel to the lines of magnetic field as shown in this figure. So this is figure which clearly says these magnetic field lines are there and this is a bar which is uh, moving in this direction and this is the height you can think of or thickness. Now this is a three dimensional figure uh, I have created into two dimensional so if you are looking from this front you will find you will be able to watch this thing so that is there that's a d thickness and this v is uh, in this direction so magnetic field will appear perpendicular to the screen outwards and there are two questions there are similar ones a says uh, find surface charge densities on the upper and bottom faces of the bar assuming material to be perfect conductor and then the b part the same thing we need to find but this time we need to assume this bar to be made up of a dielectric material of dielectric constant epsilon r so let's deal this first part first we know as per the motional emf there will be emf uh, between these two bars so what is going to happen you will find uh, this bar is moving uh, in the direction let's say this x direction and this magnetic field is in this uh, k cap or z direction and this then therefore uh, for the direction or length uh, along the y-axis that is d uh, we will find um, there will be an emf because of motional emf and this motional emf will have a battery equal to b v and this l which is d right so b v d will be uh, the amount of emf that will come between two faces that is upper face and bottom face now which terminal will be positive or which face will be positive which will be negative we can easily identify now how we are going to identify let me explain if we consider an electron maybe somewhere there now in this electron you'll find this electron is moving with this velocity in this magnetic field right so you'll find this electron is going to experience a force f is equal to minus e v cross b now if we do v cross b then you'll find v cross b will be pointing downward and there will be minus so that force on the electron will appear in the upward direction so you'll find these electrons will get accumulated in the upper face so upper face will have a negative charge because this is accumulating electron bottom face will have a deficiency of electrons so that will be positively charged so we'll say up, upper face is negatively charged and the bottom face is positively charged and uh, EMF across these two faces is BVD. Now, once we have done this, now we can find out uh, the surface charge densities because this potential difference will uh, can also be calculated using the electric field that is going to be because of these charges, right? So we say the potential difference because of the electric field between them can be written like uh, V is equal to higher potential with the second phase, so V2 minus V1, and that will be like E into D. We can think of these are two parallel plates charge plates and it's behaving like um, parallel plate capacitor so uh, it's like e into d now e that means electric field between these two layers of charges is going to be given by sigma upon epsilon naught and there will be d now since we know this emf and this potential difference both should be identical so we make them equal so we will find bvd must be equal to sigma d upon epsilon naught from here we are finding sigma which is charge density surface charge density and that turn out to be epsilon naught b into v so there will be minus sigma charge on the upper face plus sigma charge on the bottom face and that sigma will have a value epsilon naught b into v this is when the material is perfectly conducting so we have considered a perfectly conducting material and we applied e into d directly now come to the second part which is b and that says if it is behaving like a dielectric material then how we are going to find out the surface charge density let's consider this time surface charge density is f uh, this sigma dash now you'll find since the potential difference still will be bvd because of conducting wire moving there so this bvd will have external field uh, that will be acting on this material so that's for dielectric material we find external field will be e divided by d that means b into v so that will be original or external field acting 
Now, as this is the externally applied field that is coming in, this material will get polarized. And because of that polarization, these charges will appear, right? So we will say uh, field due to polarization will be equal to EP is equal to uh, this sigma dash divided by epsilon naught. Now you'll find uh, uh, the resultant field or net field is going to be equal to E is equal to E naught minus EP. Uh, because polarized field comes opposite to the applied field. So it will be like BV minus sigma dash upon epsilon naught. The way we uh, have solved the uh, case of capacitor filled with direct, uh, or, or we can directly borrow that formula that charge becomes, uh, polarized charge becomes uh, original charge within bracket 1 minus 1 upon K. So same thing is being proved uh, proven over here. Now you'll find this... Uh, relative direct or this dielectric constant that we say this dielectric constant is defined as the external field that we applied divided by the net field that we have external field was bv net field that we have calculated as bv minus sigma s upon epsilon naught this is epsilon r now we can further simplify this like bv minus sigma s upon epsilon naught must be equal to bv divided by epsilon r now we can take this term sigma uh, this side and we can break this term this side so that will be sigma dash upon epsilon is equal to bv minus bv upon epsilon r. We can take this bv as a common. So it will be like 1 minus 1 upon epsilon r. From here sigma prime we are able to find. Sigma prime comes uh, come out to be epsilon naught b into v within bracket 1 minus 1 upon epsilon r. So this will be uh, the charge that will be because of dielectric material. Now, if it is a perfectly conducting material, then epsilon r is infinite, you know, so that turned out to be this example. And otherwise, we can find it out what it is going to be. So that becomes the formula for uh, charge surface charge density appearing on the two surfaces in case of dielectric material. And this is for conductive material. That's what the question was demanding. Hence, these are the final responses. Thank you.